Uh, so if you go to reference drawings, there's a, a drawing called Law Office. You can just double click on that and that will open up in Revit. Uh, we actually looked at this on the first day when we were looking at uh, the sections and the 3D views and things like that. Now, last time we, um, we looked at uh, how to draw walls, how to uh, dimension walls, how to move them around, how to uh, uh, make the wall spacing equal, things like that. And then you, you did a project for that. Uh, today, we're going to take that to another extreme. We're going we're gonna to put the walls into this law office. So right now, we just have kind of an open shell. Um, before we do that, though, in Blackboard, I'll, I'll go to Assignment 6. There is a ton of attachments to Assignment, assignment 6. I would like you to please uh, do some soul searching before you print them all out. Because some of you are going to print out all these pages, and then at the end of the class, I'll go throw them away because you never even picked them up out of the printer. Okay, uh, they're in Blackboard, so you can look at them there. If you need to print them out, that's perfectly all right. Uh, but just decide if you really need to. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you is uh, one of the drawings that that's in your book, and and it's up to you if you want the book. Uh, this is a concept drawing or what they have called a concept drawing. Uh, a lot of you have looked at some uh, small residential design projects because of the, the prerequisites, prerequisites of this class. You may not have taken the contract class or, or any of the upper level classes. Uh, the biggest difference that you'll find is in, in between a residential project and a large commercial project is management by committee. When you go into a residential project, you may sit down with one person and, or two people and talk about your design. And, and it's a, you know, it's, everything is, is wonderful, everybody's happy, everybody's great. When you do this with a corporation, you don't have one person. You have department heads, you have the CEO of the company, you have uh, vice presidents, you have managers, you have all kinds of people that are, could be involved in these meetings. Uh, in the corporate world, it may be really easy to say, we want um, this conference room to be this big in your mind. You go to this committee, this is a library. The librarian is saying, we need the library this big. So that conference room should shrink. We don't need it that big. Whoever's scheduling conference rooms says, we really need an eight-person conference room, but it should probably be bigger. So you get into turf wars, where people are pushing and pulling and fighting over things. And sometimes they make decisions. Sometimes they don't want to make decisions. Sometimes uh, somebody has to step in and make a decision for them, and then nobody's happy. So this is not an unusual type of drawing where there'll be notes and scribbles all over it. And then you have to go back and you have to work with that. Okay. This can even happen within the interior design firm, not even with the, comp, the client yet. Um, there are lots and lots of changes and things that happen, um, lots of pushing and pulling, as I said. So this is the type of drawing that if you were some, going to an interior design firm to work on Revit drawings, this might be the kind of thing that somebody hands you and says, you know, maybe this was even a freehand sketch or, or just a regular CAD drawing or something, and then they scribble all over it for in this meeting to give to you to draw. Okay. There are a lot of, there is a lot of information on here that you're going to need to, to work today. Uh, things like align with mullion, align on grid line, um, and another align with grid down here. There's some dimensions that have been put in here. Okay. 